Today's Next Weather. Yay, it's game time. All right. Our favorite time of the day. How uh, hot is it? I don't think it's going to go all the way. No. Of the rain. Close. It's really? going to be close. Mid 90s again tomorrow, and uh, we're looking at oh, wow. you know feels like temperature 105, 110. So we're not pinning the needle all the way. We haven't had a heat warning yet so far this summer, but uh, it's going to still be a, a steamer of a day. First red box we've had in a while. We've actually been a little below average. I mean, the humidity has made it feel very uncomfortable. But as far as the actual temperatures we've been hitting since that uh, ridiculous 98 degrees back on Thursday, we've been below average by a couple of degrees today back above average 93 was the temperature we may get to 94 tomorrow splitting hairs there with the air temperature because it feels like uh, still going to be triple digits feels like 99 so we're below 100 at least in Miami Fort Lauderdale still at 100 102 there in Pompano Beach and 101 in Pembroke Pines but places like Kendall where we've had a little bit of rainfall for today have been uh, doing better as far as the temperature and also uh, the heat indice not much left here just a few little boundaries that we'll watch for any little pop-up showers but I think uh, we're pretty but certainly for the bulk of the day, we're done. Flood advisory continues over Big Pine, not for rain that's falling, but for rain that fell. And that continues uh, through uh, the next hour. But you can see some of the rain tallies here. So nothing widespread uh, as far as uh, rainfall and, and the footprint really not that significant. I think We'll have a little bit more so tomorrow and then really get into a lot more rainfall beginning a Thursday and continuing into a Friday. So tomorrow kind of a similar day to today. We'll still have that south wind and that'll bring us a few showers and storms coverage uh, about 40 to 50 percent. Then Thursday, Friday, our winds will shift to the southeast that will join the Gulf breeze. And I think they're going to make a match here in that when they collide, we're going to have some good downpours for Thursday and Friday. And then it was still tracking a weak tropical wave that'll move through. So it's not going to be anything uh, like a wind event, but it will bring us additional rainfall chances. Uh, they'll go higher for the weekend or at least stay at about 60%. There you see the forecast for uh, tomorrow, 9 o'clock. We're still doing good. Here comes that uh, south to southwest wind pushing the showers and storms along the coast. So uh, pick up time around 2, 3 o'clock at the bus stop. That's going to be wet and then we'll uh, quiet things down by the time we get into a 7. Now watch on Thursday. This is different, right? As we head through the afternoon, get that southeast wind coming in, the Gulf breeze coming in as well and this is kind of everything meeting in the middle but eventually ending up on our coastline here so from Fort Lauderdale to Miami that's four o'clock and that's some pockets of heavy rainfall even the potential uh, for some strong winds and frequent lightning so we'll watch that for Thursday in the tropics Ernesto is post tropical so that's done and it is very very quiet if I didn't know what month it was and you showed me this satellite loop I'd guess maybe February we'll talk a little bit more about why the lull and why it may continue towards the uh, end of the month in the uh, next uh, half hour. But here is your forecast for tomorrow. It's temperatures climb back up low to middle 90s before we get rain cooled air into the afternoon. Some of the temperatures for tomorrow triple digits once again between uh, 105 and 110 and your seven day forecast will feature temperatures in the 90s staying and notice the rain chances uh, going up and staying about 60% for the end of the week and into the weekend.